Now, what Alan Carr says is, forget the substitutions. There are no substitutions. Don't allow substitutions. Our substitutions are evil. Substitutions are bad. For me, I've got every substitution known to men. You know, I don't care how simple or complex they are. Take this silly thing, for instance. You know, this is like a toy cigarette. It's got a little clip, even. You can put this in your, your, your pocket, you know. You take that out. You go on a train, a plane, your neighbor's house who can't stand smoking, you know, half his family died from it, you know. It's, it's all right, I'm not smoking. You know, I, I, I'm pretending I'm smoking, but I'm not smoking, you know, there's no smoke. It just gives me that satisfaction. That gets me through a lot of the rough spots. I know it's simple, it's a silly idea, but it works. Another thing is these star lights. Man, I'm telling you, these things are super. They're like little tiny round candy canes. You know, you pop them in your mouth. My dentist is ecstatic that they're still allowed to sell these on the open market. They rot your teeth out so quickly. They are great. They're just fantastic. Lollipops are great. Lollipops are really good. Some people go with these sugar freeze. I like the ones that have the bazooka bubble gum in the middle. Or the Tootsie Rolls. Those are the ones that will get you through your grades. I don't have a cold. I haven't had a cold in 15 years. But I like these halls with the mental lift. This, they're good. They clean, they clean out your sinuses. And I like the cherry because that's my favorite. You should always have light snacks with you. You know, the light, light. I mean light, you know. Potato chips and pretzels and peanuts. You know, uh, they have no preservatives. They uh, are made with all natural ingredients. You know, they have lots of salt, but it's real salt. It's not some synthetic salt. Uh, nicotine replacement. I started stopping smoking yesterday. Uh, I, so I was going to cut down from one pack to two, uh, from two packs to one pack. So I put one patch on and I cut right away my smoking hair down to one pack. When I finished this pack, and I only have one left, I put on another one of these Nicoderm CQs on the other arm and I go from two packs to one pack, one patch, to two patches, no packs. And that'll be that. I'll be done. Um, another thing, you need some nicotine supplement. Remember, it's not the nicotine killing you. It's all the smoke and the toxic substances in the smoke. So these commitment lozenges, man, they are packed, chock full of nicotine. They have four milligrams of nicotine per lozenge. And you get like 20, 25 lozenges in this little pack, 24 of them. They say you shouldn't take more than like about 20 a day. But sometimes I'll go through two of these a day. It's no problem. I had the, the cappuccino for breakfast, uh, you know, in the mornings. I had the cherry gets me through the day. And sometimes I'll supplement that even further with the chewing gum. I'll put a nice wad, a couple pieces of that chewing gum back there in the back of my cheek, like chewing tobacco. And you get that nicotine that, you know, gets you through the day. It's excellent, excellent. Candy bars, you should always have candy bars. Don't get the big, big candy bars, you know. Because you'll be tempted to eat that whole thing at, all at once, and then you, you know, but you're looking for your next candy bar. Get the little ones. You can eat 10 or 20 of these and sit, you know, and uh, they call them fun size. They're fun because you can just, Eat, eat them like, just eat them like crazy. What else do we have here? I was talking about the, 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 the natural ingredients in these snacks, all true salt. You know how important salt is for the body, especially when you're doing exercise. And yeah, I went there. You're gonna have to do some exercises when you stop smoking. You gotta make some positive changes in your life now. I, not let you in on a little secret, I got myself this pedometer, and what it does, it comes with a little software pack, you can hook it up to your computer, I wear this morning, noon, and night 24-7, I even put it on at night when I go to bed, because you know, if I have to take a short jog to the head at night, it tracks it, so it knows exactly how far I walk on any given day, and you would be surprised how the miles add up. I have not gone outside for a walk. I haven't done anything different from what I always do. 
but I put on about two miles a day. And it's not that, the thing is perception. This way you're aware of all the walking that you're already doing, all the exercise you've already been getting, even as a smoker. And you really are, come to understand you don't have to do much more than that. Now, some people are afraid about putting on weight because of all these snacks and these substitutions. That just goes to show the total lack of commitment to the whole quitting process. I mean, look, on one hand, you could be a skinny corpse. On the other hand, you could be some big, fat, disgusting, but breathing lob of blubber. It's like a no-brainer. So, you know, don't tell me about gaining weight when you're stopping smoking. Exercising. Dumbbells. I get these little weights at 10 pounds. I don't really lift them, but sometimes I look at them and I pretend I'm lifting them. And I notice you're not going to believe it. Just in the pretending. What I say about perception. In the pretending, my arm gets stronger and stronger every time I do that. So it's really a lot of perception involved with this whole thing. You gotta sometimes fool yourself into believing that what you're doing is for the good. I got myself, just to show you what I mean, this ad rocket type of thing. You probably saw it on TV. I stretch a, a, a yoga mat down on my floor and I put this down on there. And when people come in, they perceive me as an ex-smoker who's really into the physical fitness. And I take that positive vibe and I make it work for me. So perception. I tell you, uh, and gums, gums of every kind, especially with the extra flavors in them, excellent. I, I have, my philosophy is if you change your perception, you can change your world. And, and it's working out pretty good for me, as you can see. I have other exercise things. I have this big ball. I don't even remember what the hell it's for, but sometimes I'll sit on it, you know, when I'm watching TV, it's good to stretch out my back or whatever. So, all of this stuff aside, you know, you can go to the get your extreme clean up or fresh because now your teeth are going to be bright. You can get these little stickies for your, your, your teeth, they're going to make them all white and shiny. You don't have to go through cosmetic surgery like a movie star or an actress. Uh, but the most important thing, which has always worked for me, is I, I made a, what I call a smoker or an ex-smoker's slush bucket. And in this bucket, I'm, I'm telling you, it reeks. I have old packets of cigarettes, lights, ultralights, heavies, filtered, non-filtered, nick, you know, menthol, non-menthol, whatever I could grub at the time, whatever was cheaper. I have old lighters. Throw all that stuff in there. I throw it all in there. Now, I've had my last puff. I got a little life left in that, baby. I want to put that off to the side. Uh, you know, I, I, that'll be a memento or a, 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 this momentous moment in my life type of thing. But when you're done, you take your last puff. Take your ass straight, the whole thing. Put it in your slush bucket, because like, be like me, I'm done. I'm finished. I'm now an ex-smoker, you know? And that's all there is to it. It's really that easy. And I want to encourage everybody who's quitting anything today, whether it's your crappy job, um, cigarettes, or alcohol, or hard drugs, cocaine, pot, whatever it could be. You know, if you're having too much sex, or you're some kind of sex addict, or if you're you're addicted to all the twat on Twitter, or what, whatever it is you're giving up today. I wish you good luck, Godspeed, and peace. The next time we talk, I'll be an ex-smoker.